guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be looking at hegemon and he's an amazing champion he's a arena specialist um i still use him in live arena all the time he carried me into gold three for tag arena and i hear this a lot of people like oh hegemon he's trash he's dead he's out of meta so for classic arena you know he's not gonna get you into plat but for tag and for live arena, he is still god tier. Um, so let me bring up some of my wins from live arena, and you will see what a beast he is. So Warlord, Taras, Harima, Sifi, like all S tier champions, and Hedgy completely shut them down. He locked them out. It's what he does. And, you know, the speed meta is still real. There are so many good speed champions, like Sifi, Susan, a whole bunch, like Arbiter still. They are still relevant, and they are still part of the meta. So, who we got here? Sifi, Rotos, Marichka, Taris. Again, completely locked them out and shut them down. And Marichka and Sifi is, like, one of the worst combos that you can come against in arena for real uh, why is it broken ah uh, again we got some hedgy on hedgy crime and we still came out of the w and of course our hedgy just locking them out making them useless um again taras pythion uko like that is just a nasty, nasty combo. And, you know, Pythion really, well, he was very popular in Stone Skin, but now people have moved away and moved towards Bolster. So if you do see a Pythion, the chances are he's going to be in Immunity or Bolster rather than Stone Skin, which doesn't make it easier for us to deal with. And then this is the last team again Sifi, Rotos, Arbiter, Taris. And we don't even have an Arb on our team. Literally just Wukong and Hedgy double teaming them and, and locking them out. So good. So good. So let's have a look at my arena defense. So we're in gold free right now. And a big part of this is because of Hedgy. Hedgy is such a hard carry. I use him in my offense. I use him in my defense. If there's a speed team, I'm bringing in Hedgy. And this this is actually, out of all three of these defenses, this one gets the most wins. Last weekend on reset, Saturday, Sunday. So for two days, only five people tapped me. And out of those five, I got three wins and two losses. Just shows you the power of Hedgy. So build. How are we building our Hedgy? For me personally, I feel that Control Hedgy is the only way to go. Nuke, Nuke Mon, it's fun and, you know, it's still it's still viable, but it's just nowhere near as good as Control Hedgy. I mean, Hedgy is built for Control. When we go through his skills, you'll see why. Um, but yeah, so for me, set-wise, you've got to go Provoke. Provoke is the best by far. A lot of people argue you should go stun, and stun is a better a better form of con crowd control. However, with Provoke, with Fierce and Presence, it's a 35% chance of landing, and the chances of landing it are high, where with stun, it's 30%, and it does miss. In my experience, it doesn't land that often. Um, and you could go for a daze set as well. So daze is good if you've got single target nukers like Rotos or Turvolt. Um, but yeah, provoke. It's the only way to go, guy. <laughs> Trust me, it's the only way. Uh, so we're gonna back it out with perception. So we get accuracy and speed. The sub stats we're looking for are speed and accuracy. And you can see again, nice triple roll of accuracy there as well. Gloves. Obviously, we want speed and uh, accuracy. But HP percentage or defense percentage would be the best ones to to go with. Uh, accuracy on the chest and we've only got a single roll in speed 
Uh, definitely could uh, upgrade this, look for a double or triple roll. Boots, uh, again, speed boots. And we've got accuracy, one roll accuracy. Again, this is somewhere we can upgrade, try and get a double or triple roll. So I do have um, an accuracy, uh, accuracy, uh, reaction ring on him. And this is just in case we go against another new car that's faster than us. However, I've never come across a hedgy faster. No, that's a lie. In four years, I've only come across one hedgy mon faster than mine. Uh, but yeah, so we've gone for HP ring with uh, rolls in defense and uh, HP. So for the amulet, you could go HP or defense, but it's all about the sub roll of accuracy. Triple roll, really, really nice. It doesn't get much better than that. And then banner. It's a, a six star, but we've only got, again, a single roll in speed. So definitely need to try and get a double or triple and upgrade this. So total stats, 60k HP. That is insane. And with Hedgy as well, it does make a huge difference because, you know, if he provokes them, they're only hitting us with the A1. Block active skills only hitting us with the A1. We're bringing in a decrease attack as well. So... They hit us, it's going to be weak. So stacking HP is definitely the way to go. Um, we're a little bit low on the defense, 2.2k. We want to bump this up to 3 or 4k. Um, that would make a huge amount of difference to survivability. Um, speed, 255. I mean, that's pretty fast. Um, like I said, though, you could definitely push it up a little bit. And accuracy, 535. Um, so we don't have eagle eye, so this is very, very good without eagle eye. Uh, but yeah, if you could get like 400 and above, that should that should help you a lot. So passive. Hedgy will always go first each round. If multiple Hegemons are in the battle, the Hegemon with the highest speed will move first, followed by the highest and so on. So uh, what rounds means is that um, you've got turns, so every turn. So it doesn't mean like Hedgy is just going to be constantly popping off. It just means the start of a round. So in Arena, you only have one round. So the first round, he will always go first. If you're in Dungeons, you know, you usually got three waves. Each each round or each wave is a round and he'll it will reset and he'll get to go first. A2, Crippling Cold. Attacks of enemies, places a 50% decrease attack for two turns and also 50% chance of placing block active skills. So we are going to bump this up with Sniper in our Mastery. So that's an extra 5%. So 55%. That is a huge amount of chance of, you know, blocking active skills, meaning we can only use A1s. And if we don't block active skills, then we've also got a really good chance of landing Provoke as well. Just so sick. It is just so sick. A1. Attacks two enemies. Oh, sorry, no. Attacks two times at random. Each hit has a 35% chance, books up to 50 chance of placing decrease speed, a debuff for two turns. Um, you know, pair this, so like, you know, we've got a good chance of hitting someone. Uh, you know, we're going to hit two people or one person twice. We've got a really good chance of putting decrease speed on them, which is a nasty debuff. We're going to slow them down and we're going to hit them again. We've got a good chance of landing that provoke. He's just built for CC. So blessing, you've got to go polymorph. Uh, it just is it like the fourth, is it the fourth layer? The fourth, the third, the third layer of CC that we're bringing. We are just completely shutting down the enemy team. And because we've got so much accuracy as well, we've got a very good chance of landing that sheep as well. So, you know, you just have to, you just have to. Masteries, he's got very, very specific masteries. So in the support tree, we want to be taking all that accuracy. Um, we're taking evil eye so we can push back turn meter, a bit more control in the fight. Um, arcane celerity, so because we're bringing so many debuffs, um, when they expire, we've got a good chance of boosting our turn meter. Master Hexer, so this won't help our provoke, but it will help help with the, the slow, the the block active skills and sniper as well. Again, it's just helping, giving us an extra 5% chance to land those abilities. So resistance doesn't matter, but we need it so we can take this improved parry. Improved parry is one of the best 
masteries for arena uh, decreases the damage this champion receives by eight percent if hit by a critical hit and if you're going against nukers they're going to have a hundred percent crit rate and we are going to reduce that down to a tickle rejuvenation kind of nice so you know if we've got a healer or someone that brings shields that is going to increase that by five percent on this champion resurgence one of the most broken masteries in arena always a must-have if you can if you go in the defense tree so it has a 50 percent chance of removing one random debuff from this champion when they lose 25 percent of their max hp or more from a single enemy skill so good so you know if they put a freeze or a stun or a sleep on us well sleep will fall off anyway but um, they hit us hard enough that debuff's coming off and we're back we're back in action um so if we go down and then we're going to fearsome presence because we want to improve that chance to land that provoke so yeah um this is the way you know if you're going a cc hedgy these are the masteries you must have so i think i've hyped him up enough let's take him into the arena and let's watch him get to work all right guys found this speed team so lady kimmy and arbitar are a nasty combo and they've got gore grid as well so let's uh, take him out and just watch Hedgy get to work. So open with the A2. And like I said, I told you guys, I told you, literally three out of four people have been locked out with that provoke. It is just so nasty and hard to deal with. Um, if you're lucky enough to have Hepfrak, um, he pairs up really nicely with Hedgy. So if Gorad, uh, Gorgrad, uh, Gorgrid hit Hedgy and killed him, then we would just automatically trigger Hepfrak and he would just wipe the team. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's try and find a harder team. All right, guys, I found a really hard team. So we're in gold three for tag, uh, top 5,000 in the world. And this is a nasty team, Warlord. Uh, Romantu, Baron, and of course of Arb. And we're just going to boost our turn meter. And let's sheep Romantu. And that's it. The, it's game over, man. It's game over. So we're just going to cease. And again, the provokes, they don't stop landing. And that's it. It's game over. Whack in auto. Easy, easy, easy wins. But yeah, I mean, people just keep telling me that he's trash so wrong as you can see it's just easy <laughs> it's easy with him All right, i'm just gonna skip the last fight but yeah guys do not sleep on hedgy if you pull him he's like an instant six star i mean he's not just great for arena he's a great cc champion in general for all content but obviously arena is where he excels still one of my favorite champions um that i'm literally using every day let me know how you guys are building him. Do you build him different to me? Um, is there like a, a, a secret gear set that we're missing out on that maybe we should be using for Hedgy? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.